Good afternoon. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the notification bell. And today we have ourselves a video with the Model X. It's right here. And we're gonna be carrying, we're gonna be comparing the uh, build quality of this new 2023 Model X versus this old 2016 Model X. We're gonna be looking at some of the subtle changes that Tesla has made to optimize range and make it a better vehicle and also a lot more efficient. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So first off, let's start off with this older Model X right here. As you can see, uh, they opted for Chrome back then and the build quality wasn't really that good when they first initially made the Model X. As you can see, look at this panel, and this panel doesn't even match. The gaps were a little bit bigger. Um, and you remember this screen, uh, similar interior to the older Model S. And um, as you may notice, um, the build quality just wasn't that good. So let's look over this one over here. Uh, the headlights there has a little bit of a gap. Let's move along to the right side. Yeah, you can see that there's a huge gap in here. Look, I can even put my finger in there, which definitely isn't good. Um, the older Model X, it has the older front. As you may know, the design of the Model X has changed. Moving along here, onto the right side. Um, this panel is fine. Gap's not that bad, to be honest. Um, I, so moving along here, here's a look at the interior. This has the white interior. You know, Tesla has been offering the white interior for a while now. Um, and let's move along here. Oh, this door is actually flush, which isn't that bad. And the gap is better on this side. So let's move along. And remember, if you're doing a quality check, make sure to check out the whole panel. Look at this. As you can see, yeah, this panel right here is not flush. It is poking out a little bit. So definitely has a, a little bit of an issue. They've, they've kept the rear of the model um, X pretty much the same. Um, they haven't done uh, any changes, but look at this. Look over here, look at that. Do you see that gap? Disgusting. See how that panel sticks out a little bit? Oh my God. You know, Tesla doesn't have that much experience when it comes to building vehicles. And as you may know, that uh, there's still a lot of work that has to be done. So, yeah, this definitely would say that, oh, look at that gap, huge. Look at that. See, you know, to be honest, you know, I, would, I would definitely give this Model X a fail. I wouldn't accept this. Um, and I think that um, the older Model X Definitely, it's, it's a lot more advanced than a lot more vehicles that you see today. As you may notice, uh, Tesla's tech is far greater than any other vehicle that's out to date right now. Uh, most of their technology is, is five to 10 years ahead. Um, you have things such as web browsers and um, your car can uh, drive itself and there's so much tech packed into this vehicle that even an older version Model X has more tech than some of the newer vehicles that are out today. But, you know, Tesla's constantly improving. Where I find they need to improve is their build quality. It's very important. So, this Model X older version, you know, it's, uh, I personally wouldn't accept it. So let's move on to 
the newer Model X and let's compare it to the newer Model X. And let's see some of the changes that Tesla has made. So this is the 2023 Model X. And as you may notice, the first change that they've done is the front bumper. They've made it similar to the Model 3 and the Model Y. See, they have this new aerodynamic um, bumper that increases, it's better for airflow and it makes the vehicle more efficient. Um, this car is spectacular. And one of the new things that Tesla has offered with their new Model X's is Hardware 4.0. So Hardware 4.0 um, uses the latest camera tech, um, more megapixels on the cameras, better uh, computer, better resolution, and the car is a lot more efficient. Now, would you look at these wheels? These wheels, I love the design, phenomenal. Uh, they've done a great job. And let's look at some of the, um, the gaps over here. So this gap is not as bad as the other one. It's, uh, I do wish it was a little bit tighter. And as you may notice, no longer they use chrome. They've opted for the black. The black definitely gives it that more sporty look and I definitely prefer it. One major change that Tesla has done is with its interior. It shares the same interior as the Model X, but for the 2023, look what Tesla has done. They basically brought it up to date, added the yoke steering wheel, added the, um, the screen, which uh, is similar to the Model 3 and Model Y, and the interior has been touched up so definitely like what i'm seeing so door handles good everything is nice and tight the build quality has definitely improved oh look at these panels nice and tight flush beautiful also they've changed the charge port and the black they've for the back here they've changed this over here and made it black so those are some of the subtle changes that tesla has done but remember, um, on that Model X, when we had the right side panel, see, this one actually has the same issue of this panel poking out, just like we've seen in the, um, the older Model X, but it's not as bad and it's not as sticking out. But I, I can assure you that it is sticking out. So I wish Tesla would um, put some focus to that area and make it a little bit better. You know, there's always room for improvement. The 2023 is a nice vehicle, but can they do better? And the answer is hell yes. So, yeah, and even this door is not even flush, it's poking out. So some of the problems that we've seen on the older version has moved on to the 2023, but the 2023 definitely, I can say, is, um, has definitely made huge improvements um, so if you're thinking about ordering a Tesla Model X, now is the best time to do it because it's the most um, technological um, vehicle, which is going to give you so much enjoyment. You're going to love it. It is pretty much a little bit pricey. It's one of their most expensive vehicles that they have to offer. Um, but is it worth it? Uh, I would definitely say yes. For what you're getting, the tech that you're getting, the the um, the efficiency that you're getting, the fact that it has those iconic Falcon wing doors that open up, and there's no other brand that's been able to do the same style of doors and have it be automatic. Um, a lot of the car companies that have those type of doors are just manual and they're using... Um, um, a totally different technology, where the, whereas this one is fully automated. And um, I, I love the vehicle. I, I hope to own one one day. So I, I just wanted to make a video just comparing the new 23 
Model X with the older version Model X. And, and as you may know, I would definitely be going with this. So thank you for watching my video. Um, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, leave some comments on um, this video. So take care and have a good one.